Welcome to Master Duel Arena, where two duelists enter, but only one may reign supreme. Each episode, duelists will build decks using Hearthstone's Arena draft format. Three cards appear, but only one can be chosen. Duelists will build their decks this way, card by card, until their decks are complete, then play a best two out of three. This is Master Duel Arena. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and pick our first card. We have Earthquake, Ryukoki, or Grarl. Um, this is tough, right? Pyramid Turtle is in the pool, like, but we actually need to pull Pyramid Turtle. Earthquake is kind of like a removal spell. Gravity Axe is a nice equip card to make our guys kind of big. I actually think for this first one, I'm going to pick Earthquake. Defense position monsters in GOAT are actually quite low, and I think that might come up quite handy. Next up, we have three good ones. I think Gravekeeper's Guard's probably too good to pass up just because it can bounce stuff back to hand, so we'll go ahead and pick that. Now, now we have a super rare to choose from night assailant gemini elf or messenger of peace this is tough there's a lot of really good cards here i think i'm gonna go for the night assailant just for the removal it's also dark because we are playing goat so let's go ahead and pick that and now we have three insane urs to pick from judgment premat or limiter i'm not sure how good our machine outlook is uh when it comes to goat so i think it's between solemn and premat we're gonna go with premat and more super rares to pick from merchant wall of revealing light or injection fairy lily this is tough. Like, if we get Giant Rat, Fairy Lily could be crazy later on. Merchant's nice because it's like a light if we get any of the Chaos cards. Wall of Revealing Light is pretty good, too, just because it's a way to just stop stuff. And, like, if there's not really anything Rhyme has to interact with us, like, Wall could be a good pick. I think I'm going to hope that Chaos prevails in the end, and uh, I'm going to go with the Merchant. It's a light. It gives us another card. It gets us deeper into, like, our powerful spells and traps. Let's let's go for the Merchant. I think that's going to be an okay call. All right, this is my first time doing this. I'm excited. I think it's a really, really cool idea. Goat format. Ooh. Ooh. I, Thousand Needles is annoying, though, because with Thousand Needles, you get to, uh, if it gets attacked, it, uh, dest yeah, it destroys the monster. But Mystic Tomato is a searcher. Oh, what should I do? Do I do the troll option or missing tomato? I... Uh, <laughs> why is this so hard all of a sudden? <sighs> missing tomato, just in case, just in case, just in case. Mask of weakness. Oh, trapple, trapple. Uh, absolutely, bottom trapple. Gravekeeper spy. Do I assume I'm going to get the other ones? Yeah, let's take the uh, 2,000 defense wall. We have uh, Bazoo. Once per turn, you can banish on three mounts from your graveyard. This card gains 300 attack. Uh, I don't know if I want that. I'll just do this for, you know, for defense. Jirai Gumo, Giant Orc, Zolga. If I'm leaning more towards the Chaos, if the stuff comes up, Chaos Sork is a normal, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Uh, BLS, I believe, is an Ultra, so that's pretty unlikely to show up. But Giant Orc, let's let's go with the Orc. I'm, again, I'm kind of like hoping that it pays off for us in the end. Final Attack Orders is interesting because we do have Giant Orc, so that means that our Orc can stay in attack position. But it has anti-synergy with our Assailant and our Magical Merchant, which is a bit concerning. So I think, ooh, Parshath would actually be, go crazy. If we can, like, survive a turn, have Parshath, like, tribute over one of our other guys, we can get some insane value. I think I like the runaway aspect of Parshath, so we're going to go with that. There's the Giant Rat. We're getting a bit punished because we didn't go for Fairy Lily. It's cool because if we go down here, we can actually see our breakdown of our monster spell trap ratio. And if we hover this, we can see what our type and attribute uh, distribution is looking like. So we actually don't have a single earth monster right now. So Giant Rat doesn't seem to be the pick. But Zoo is nice because it's just a big guy and it sort of has synergy because like if Merchant mills some monsters, like Bazoo can get large. Penguin Soldier is like, okay, it's like pseudo removal. I think I'm going to go with the bazoo. I think we're going to go with that. And now we get into the extra deck portion. So after we pick eight monsters uh, for the main deck or eight cards for the main deck, we actually get to pick three extra deck cards. And so for the most part, these aren't going to matter too much because I think the only real targets that uh, this matters for are Metamorphosis and Cyberstein exactly for GOAT format. And so, unless we pull Meta, which is a super rare, or Cybersign, which is an ultra, none of these picks are going to matter. So, I'm going to go with Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. I'll take Dark Balter in case we come across Meta. And uh, I already took one Twin-Headed, so I guess I'll take Giltia, because, like, who cares? Messenger... Wow, I got the... I literally just got the uh, the Floodgate section. Messenger... I guess I'll do Wall and Reveal and Light. I don't want to do the other ones. Ooh, Hysteric Fairy. I, lust, will that barrel... What do you do again? You can roll six side die twice. Choose one result. The short monster field is overly cool. Uh, but 2,000 defense. That actually is more useful than Luster Dragon, I would say. Let's do that. Uh, Book of Life. Am I going to assume I want to get some zombies? Or do I go for the draw? You know what? Soul Exchange. We'll do Soul Exchange. 
Then that way, if I get a high level monster, I can just use um, their stuff, Simo's stuff, and then uh, win that way. Michizuri, I, I like the trolley aspect of it. Um, I, I guess Cybersaurus of these. <laughs> do I want trash, garbage, or, or pile of nothing? I guess I'll go with that one. Relinquished. Definitely relinquished. Uh, Dark Flare Knight, 100%. We got some more supers. Unfortunately, all these supers kind of suck. Threatening Roar is good if we're trying to stave off a battle phase to maybe tribute for a Parshath. I think I like that a little bit better than Reckless Greed, so we're going to go with that. And two, or rather, three more supers. Jinzo is a house. Man, Jinzo is just like a game ender if we can actually drop it on the field. Magic Cylinder, though, has good mean quality to it. Hopefully, uh, we do have pre-mat, too. So if Jinzo hits the grave, we could pre-mat it back. Uh, say we mill it off Magical Merchant. So I'm going to take Jinzo. I think Jinzo can solo uh, a lot of things, potentially, just especially in a limited environment. Man, another tough one. Exiled Force, Rush Ruckrisly, or Autonomous Action Unit. The Autonomous Action Unit's really interesting, though. It does cost a lot of life points. It's 1,500. But if Rhyme has something really big for us to steal with this, this could be uh, this could be huge. I'm going to go with the Autonomous Action Unit. I'm going to give that a shot. I like Mystic Swordsman to be able to just clear stuff in defense if he does have any flip effects or anything like that. We just need to make sure we have a way to protect this. And we do have, like, Threatening Roar and stuff, but we need, like, more things to protect. So, oh, Nyan Nyan also is a good light, though. We still don't have a Sork or a BLS yet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take Mystic Swords in level two. Oh my god, that's an easy pot of greed. I don't even have to think about that. And this is an interesting one too. White Ninja Acid Trap Hole Metal Morph. Acid Trap Hole can deal with defense. Metal Morph is a combat trick, and White Ninja is just like a pop for a defense monster. It allows us to get over things. Unfortunately, it's only when we attack, but I still think that's probably okay. Also, since we're pulling from the same pool of cards, just getting a 300 attack boost might actually be relevant. If we both have like 1800, 1900 attack point monsters, if he attacks and we metal morph, we actually could win combat and then hit over something else potentially. Here we've got three pretty low impact cards. Uh, we just got two beaters and a mask of weakness. Mask of weakness is a battle trick at least. So like, at least it's uh, a removal card technically. And we're kind of light on removal. I think I'm gonna go with the mask. The, we can do better, I think, on the monster quality. And we're already at eight monsters. So I'm gonna go with mask of weakness. Got Mother Grizzly. So far, I feel like I'm not getting any use out of um, Mystic Tomato, aren't I? Does this have many, how many cards do I have so far? I have three monsters, one spell, four traps. Okay, let's do Crimson Ninjas for traps, right? Oh uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, could be useful. Ooh, Sacred Phoenix. Sacred Phoenix, I love that card. Nightmare Wheel, I feel like it's annoying, but Autonomous Action Unit could be way more useful. But it's expensive, it's a problem, it's just very expensive. Let's go for Nightmare Wheel. A little burn damage doesn't hurt anybody, except for the person on the other end of it. Great Anus! You have Great Angus, Metal Morph, or Shadow Knight. This is the one that you have to um, pay for. That was an attack. I'd rather just get the safe option. Let's do that. Ooh, Mystic Swordsman. Mystic Swordsman. Absolutely Mystic Swordsman. What, what, what are we at number wise? We are at. Does it tell you where uh, how many you have so far? Oh, deck size up there. Got it. Uh let's do bombs trap hole again. Good option. Trap hole again. You know, at this point, I, I'm about to just turn into Odeon in this video. Another autonomous action unit. Exile Force came around again too, and Grandmark. I don't think I want to commit to Grand Marg as a tribute summon. If it was like Zaborg or Mobius, I think I'd be more inclined. We already have one autonomous action unit, so I'm kind of tempted to take Exiled Force just so we have like some actual removal. I think two of this card is a bit ambitious, so let's go for Exiled Force. And now it looks like we are back to our extra deck card. So I'm going to take a Thousand Eyes in case meta rolls around. I'm going to take, ooh... Reaper, Ryu, Senshi, Master of Oz. What do we have so far? We have, if we do get Cyber Sign, we want a big guy. But if we get Meta, we want Ryu, Senshi. Meta is technically more likely to come up because it's a super rare. So I think I'm going to play it safe and go for Ryu, Senshi. And uh, it looks like we're just getting more meta calls here. So I'm going to go for Fiend Skull. I don't, I don't think we're going to have double metamorphosis. So we're going to go for Fiend Skull. Getting a high number of tribute summons. Uh, Book, Extermination, Thestalos. Extermination is like kind of MST, and we don't really have any sort of spell and trap removal. But Book is just really good. It's like sort of removal and has a lot of like offensive and defensive capability. Let's go for Book. I think Book's probably better than Extermination. Let's do... I think Giant Orc is the better option, right? Hand of Neftis. Wait a minute. Hand of Neftis. Hand of Neftis, because I, I have Sacred Phoenix in my deck. Uh, Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. These don't really matter, because unless I get Metamorphosis, I'm going to do much with these. Let's do Dark Blade. 
Steric Fairy, Mystic Swords in level two, Arm Dragon level three. I don't know if I want a second Mystic Swords in level two. I think I'd just take Hysteric Fairy as an 1800 beater. I prefer this over like Great Angus because at least it's light. It actually has like an effect too. Uh, so if we do get Chaos Orc, we do have Synergy. We'll go Hysteric Fairy. God, another Giant Orc, Revival Jam, Cyber Harvey. Revival Jam's interesting because we do have a couple of tribute summons. So there is a world where this sort of acts like a bad treeborn frog. We resurrect it and then... I'm going to try Revival Jam. I don't think I've really given Revival Jam a shot since uh, creating this. So we'll go for it. Skilled White Magician, Seven Color Fish, Dark Geroid. Basically two beaters and a, a low attack monster with like a pseudo removal effect. I think I'm going to go for the Geroid. Geroid could sink like a Jinzo down to like 1600 and then it's actually like killable by one of our other monsters. So I actually like the utility that Geroid offers. Okay, here's some actual removal. Fisher Compulse Secret Barrel. Not going Secret Barrel. Compulse is okay, but I think Fisher's probably just better because it's like the hard removal card. Compulse, bouncing stuff back to hand in this format isn't like amazing. Um, it's okay on like Gravekeeper Guard because it's on a body. So I think I'm going to go Fisher. Oh, this is pretty good. So Yomi Ship, Cross Counter, or Toon Gemini Elf. So Yomi Ship is removal, but Toon Gemini Elf, this card can get out of hand real quick. I feel like I want some slightly larger monsters. So I feel like we're lacking some threats, and Gemini Elf gets really out of hand. Yomi Ship's not the worst, though. I'm going to go Toon Gemini Elf. Let's see how it goes. Uh, This isn't the best one. Library, Creator Incarnate, Shadow Knight, Archfiend. Shadow Knight's interesting because it's just a 2k, but any battle damage it does is halved. Library's not bad, but it doesn't really do anything. We only have six spells. It also works, I guess, if our opponent plays spells. I think I'd prefer the Shadow Knight. At least the Shadow Knight can deal with threats. And if it sticks and we have a tribute monster, then we can just use Shadow Knight for that. So I'm gonna go with the Shadow Knight Archfiend. God, really getting punished not picking the, the Earth stuff because we could have had double exiled Injection Fairy Lily, double Giant Rat now. That would have been nuts. But I think here we only have, oh, we have four Earths now. So maybe we can take the Rat. What are our Earths? Bazoo is an Earth. Exiled Force is an Earth. Toon Gemini Elf. So we have two targets for the Giant Rat. And if, again, if we have Tribute Summons, Rat can float into one of those and that can provide pressure. And if we need to sack it for a, a Tribute, that actually is quite good. I think that's a little bit more high value than just a 1900 Vanilla. So I'm going to try for the Rat. I'm going to look out for some other Earths that we can get off of the Giant Rat. Back to the Fusions. Nothing crazy here. Let's just take a Giltia. We already have Fiend Skull. I'm trying to think if there's like anything else we can grab. I guess like last warrior sure and then i think we we took ryu senshi before yeah so we'll take reaper on the nightmare this time i actually always loved malevolent nuzzler what's my deck size 17 out of 40 so far okay uh metamorphosis all right we are we are eating right now and rock Mod what is that one dude? target one stack on the field destroy that target it's not that good but it is 2400 attack i feel like i can't go chaser I feel like for, for the culture impact, we got to go with Chaser. Skill Dark is 1900, but Mahavilo, I ha and I have equipped spells. Let's go to Mahavilo, why not? Uh, Soul Exchange, ooh, Magician of Faith, 100%. We are halfway through Needle Ceiling, I guess. I'm thinking, uh, I mean, they're the same. Archfiend Soldier is because he looks cooler. Raigeki Break, free, it's not even an option. Uh, I already have Thousand Eyes Restrict, so let's do, let's do Fiend Skull. Ah, uh, Beast. Oh, doesn't matter. Gatling Dragon. Gatling Dragon. These are some interesting ones. So we got two big beaters. Uh, obviously, Archfiend Soldier is better than Dark Blade, so we'd probably pick between Soldier and Cliff. I think I want to have some spell and trap removal, so I'm going to put Cliff in the deck. Another Exiled Force. That's crazy. Mataza and Big Bang Shot. I don't really have some payoffs for these two. I think I'm just going to go for another Exiled Force for removal. I think I'm going to. I think I'm actually going to take the Balloon Lizard. I like the Giant Rat Synergy. Ooh, Mystic Tomato, White Magical Hat, Econ. Wow, this is a tough one. So I have six darks in the deck. I'm going to take tomato. We've got, a, oh, good. This is a this is a great one. I feel like we needed removal, so I'm going to take smashing ground. Chaos Orc, not 100%. I don't even have to think about that. Okay, so now we have eight darks and three lights. So I actually want to look out for some light monsters to give us more chaos fodder. Mirage Dragon's looking tempting here. Also with all the battle tricks like sack and widespread ruin and stuff being normal rare, Mirage Dragon can actually put in some work. I think spiritualism is worth considering as well, just because it's a way to like make sure a play goes through. But Mirage Dragon sort of does a similar thing, and it's a light. I'm gonna go Mirage Dragon. Oh my God, Serpent Monster Gate Mirror Force. That's an easy Mirror Force, no questions asked. All right, and then three more 
fusions. Again, I just, I'm going to take... We already have Guilty. I don't think we're even using any of the rest of these. Uh, we have Reaper. I don't think we have Dark Blade. We don't. I think in case I get Stein, I'll take Master of Oz just to, like, insulate. We already have Ryu Senshi. Um, I guess I'll take Dark Flare. Why not? Let's go for Dark Geroid. Although, Goblin Attack Force could be annoying just because 2300 attack. But this reduces. Let's go for that. I'd rather go for the, uh, the, the long-term play, if that makes sense. I think I gotta go with Assailant just because the Banish effect could be way more useful. Graceful Dice. This is for Joey. For Joey, we gotta do that. Uh, let's do another Michizuri. What's my breakdown so far? I have 10 traps and 14 monsters. Okay. So, enemy control. Let's get some spells in here. Me thinking, do I want to actually play more traps? No, because I already have 10. Ah, let's go. Let's go to Joey method, you know? Let's do... Ooh, Pitch Black Werewolf is good, so we can stop... Um, what's more cool? Horus. I don't think I get level 8, but just in case. Balter! Okay, Metamorphosis is, is super alive right now. Uh, these don't really matter. Pot of Green! Oh my god! Which one do I choose? No, don't do this to me. How many light and darks do I have? I have three light, six darks. Oh, which one do I choose? Pot of Greed or BLS? Holy shit. I have to take BLS. I, I took... Oh my god. I took Master of Oz for Stein, but BLS is too... I have to go for BLS. It's. I think it's way more of a payoff. If there was no BLS there, I think I was going to go for Stein. Crazy enough. Five warriors to search, though, for Rota. That's not terrible. Time Wizard's a very funny light monster, but unfortunately, I don't know if I feel like gambling like that. I think I like just taking another book here. I think I just want, like, spells. Oh, my God, two solid light monsters. Do I value the extra 100 attack over the 1900 defense that Skilled White Magician has? That can wall off a bit. Watch, this is going to come up. I'm going to pick Skilled White Magician. T-Roar Reasoning Wall of Revealing Light. So, Reasoning's really funny because... Our, our monster count is, or our level count is all over the place. We have level one. I think we have every level except for two. I also don't want to like reasoning over my BLS or my Sork. I think that would suck. So I actually think it's between T-Roar and Wall. Man, I am kind of scared to pay all those life points though. I also feel like it has negative synergy with like Jinzo. T-Roar is good though in case we can use it like as a chainable. I'm going to go T-Roar. I'm going to go T-Roar. Oh my god, we're just getting all the lights. If only we pick Reasoning, Sacred Crane would have been a sick hit. So it's between Hysteric Fairy and Sacred Crane. Maybe if I took the Reasoning or if I had more ways to special summon, I'd want to take Sacred Crane. I only have one. And am I really going to pre-mat for Sacred Crane when I could pre-mat for, like, anything else that I have? Probably not. We'll go Hysteric Fairy. I think that's okay. Graceful Dice, Zero Gravity, Zolga. I don't think I'm going to take Zolga. I think it's between Graceful Dice and Zero Gravity. Graceful Dice is a very funny battle trick. I think Zero Gravity is just a little bit better, so we're going to go for that. Oh, Simo, bro. BLS, BLS. We got to go with BLS. We got to go with BLS. Let's do Mask of Weakness, I guess. Regenerating Mummy. What's about breakdown? I have four light, six dark. I guess now I want to go for more darks and Mirage Dragon. It's another light. Suddenly, like, now that I saw BLS, I, I, I seen the future of, of how this deck is going to play. Neftis, so we can get another one. But I might break on this. Two tributes is kind of crazy, too. I have to, like, tribute some of this. This is a lot of text. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I read the first line, and my brain stopped reading. So, you know what? Let's just go with another uh, Neftis. Ryukaki. Uh, let's do Ryukaki. Why not? Let's do another Dark Geroid, because it could be annoying. Swords of Concealing Light? Sure. And then we have, what, three more uh, extra deck monsters. So I guess we'll do Empress Judge. Reaper, no. Okay, at this point, this is literally just uh, turning into my uh, my goat deck. All right, I, I am good to go. I uh, I think this is as good as it gets. Braincon, Gyakugiri, and Spear Dragon. Mm, I don't like these monsters. I don't mind Braincon. The problem is it's errated Braincon. So it's not... OP Brain Con from back in the day. So if there are any special summon monsters, Brain Con doesn't do anything. I feel like Brain Con hits so many cards in this format, though. Because Brain Con says can be normal summoned or set. So the only thing that Brain Con really doesn't work against is the Chaos monsters, I want to say. I'm pretty sure everything else in the format can be Brain Conned. 
And plus, we have a couple troops. I'm going to take Brain Con. We'll give Brain Con a shot. Uh, this looks like an easy X-Head Cannon to me, just because I still want lights, and these two don't really do much for me. So we'll take X-Head Cannon. That's it for the main deck. Uh, these last three don't matter, because we don't have Meta or Stein. So I guess I'll just take another Master of Oz, because it's funny. I'll take another Ryu Senshi, and, uh, you know, we'll take the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So... That's it for our draft. Uh, it started off a bit weird, but I actually think it ended up working out pretty well considering we got BLS, Sork, we have Pot of Greed. We've got a lot of powerful cards, but Rhyme could also have some powerful stuff. So I can't wait to see how this is going to go. All right, Rhyme Style, you are the first to experience the Master Duel Arena Draft. How are you feeling, my friend? I had an insane decision between three cards. I literally, <laughs> and you'll, you'll see in the video, but when I, when I got to it, I'm like, which one do I choose? They literally gave me like the staples of, of GOAT, and That's I, pretty, hope I, made, I hope I made the right call. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see in the end who ends up winning the best two out of three, but I'm excited. It's cool because it's like, everyone's always experienced. Oh, I'm going first, 100%. Are um, you... Everyone, uh, everyone, you want, me to end, you want me to end my turn so you get the free draw? Oh, sure. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. You're, you're such a nice pal. But actually, no, wait. I picked first. You know what? It's fine. I don't need it. I'll just go sure. first. You know okay. why I don't need it? You know why I don't need it? Because I've got luck on my side, buddy. And uh, you're going against the protagonist. We already got the pot <laughs> <Yeah>. of greed. <laughs> so that was one of the options in, in, in one of the three. I'll be curious to see which you ended up picking. I think I'm just going to take this nice and simple. We're just going to do a T-set, okay. and we'll pass it back to you. Right, right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I got. Uh, I, I had to craft one card, and it's royal, by the way, and I see it in my hand right now. That's sick. Huh. Okay, so you have a card in your back, or it could be very, very scary. But you know what I say about cards like that? I do not care, because I summon Mirage <laughs> Dragon. Thoughts? Sure. That's fine. And I'm going to attack. I oh. actually think... Oh, so we got a little quick... We got we got some quick play action. I am gonna book this action. Okay, all right. So, so this is important then. Okay. Potentially, oh, it's, potentially. No, that, it's some addition of faith because you would let that go through. I'll set this. I'll set this. Okay. Oh, okay. You got some stuff. You got some I, stuff. All I'm right. hoping you don't have a lot of back row removal. That is one thing that could t potentially uh, turn the tide, <laughs> but we'll see here. Okay. Let's see what we get. Uh, I don't know if I want to go for it yet, honestly. Let's bring out a let's bring out a big boy. Let's bring out the Shadow Knight Archfiend. Oh no, there's a hole below his feet. Watch out. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, we can see if we can negate that. And unfortunately we can't because for some reason, like trap hole actually targets for some reason. Uh, yeah. And Shadow Knight can negate targeting effects. Yeah. That's insane. Okay, uh, who'd have thought that? Let's... I assume that was an errata because I don't remember trap hole ever saying... Well, target yeah, I... became like a thing later. Like, I like, thought it no. always destroyed. Yeah, you and I are boomers I think, too. So I feel yeah. like we would know this. I think the original card says select the monster and then it... Something weird like that. I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass. What do you have set that's so important? Little. Hmm. This can be useful later. You know what? What better uh, way to have a trap negate than two? Pitch war... <laughs> A pitch black werewolf, and I will sure. attack with both. Let's see what we got. What, what is this? It's fine. It's nothing crazy. It's just magical merchant. Oh, you got merchant? That's a good card. Merchant's not bad. Uh, okay. That Jeroid's going to the grave. Hopefully, Gosh, we hit something good here. Ooh, earthquake. that's not bad. We'll take that earthquake. I will go for a nice little 16 call. I'll take the 16. That's fine. Let's chill. And it's getting aggressive. You know what? I'll, I will set one more. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> All right. Things aren't looking good for us here. We're going to have to stabilize. That's also not looking too good. Okay. I'm just looking at a card advantage. I see six cards in your hands. I have two of mine. Yeah, I mean, you've gotten some nice advantage off of me just killing my stuff in battle. It makes me waste my book, but that's what it is. <laughs> um, I think we're just going to Fisher one of these guys off. No! Let's try to stem the bleeding a bit. Um, They're the same attack, so funny enough, I can pick which one I want to get rid of. I like Pitch Black Warwolf more, so we'll keep him around. Interesting. You and uh, we'll just we'll set one, and uh, we'll throw it back. You're giving me a light in my graveyard. I mean, you're going to have a light and dark in your graveyard no matter what I do. So This could be useful for later. So I'm going to go ahead and set this over here. We're going to leave it over here in the corner, okay? okay this card sure. is That's harming fine. nobody. It's fine. But my wolf will harm your face down. I think Attack. you're going to regret doing that. It's no! Night Assailant. We're going to take out that set, buddy. I knew you couldn't resist. The Crimson Ninja. Okay. That was kind <laughs> of bait. He wasn't doing anything. Yeah. He wasn't. <laughs> we had to try, though. We had to try. I think the scariest... Uh, Duel in any form of drafting is the first one. You kind of see. I what, agree because you don't know what the opponent has. It's terrifying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you still have two back row, which sucks. I'm gonna bring out Hysteric Fairy. Okay, interesting. We're gonna we're gonna try for this. There's no shot this resolves, but we'll try it. I acted in my Joy Wheeler card. Oh Graceful my God! Please dice. roll a one. Please roll a one. Please roll. A <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 
Hey, I rolled a one with the Shadow Knight, okay? There was a chance it was gonna work. I, I have to add the, the dice. What, once that popped up, that was an easy option. Uh, but it's Spirit Crimson Joey. Ninjas and Earth. Okay, I... I don't think I'm in any immediate danger of dying here, so I'm just gonna pass and hope <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna get OTK'd out of nowhere. <laughs> Draw. Ooh, that is kind of a nasty card to draw right now. I summon the mighty, the powerful Archfiend Soldier. Sure. That's but 19, fine. 19 is kind of crazy. 19's thick. It's thick. Yeah, I feel like right. now you gotta you gotta start making some moves here. I gotta start making some moves. Unfortunately, uh <laughs> the way our hand's looking, it's not looking too hot. That's not bad. That's okay. Man, I think I have to actually start doing things. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna smash and ground the Archfiend Soldier. Oh, Fair, fair. It's a good card. It's it's not great, but it, it'll do what it can. I think I'm going to run out this Earthquake. Okay. And then I'm going to try to run out this Mystic Swords <laughs> in level two. <laughs> <laughs> desperate hey, times call hey, for desperate hey, measures, okay? I, res I respect it. I respect it. I got to be honest with you. I'm surprised it connected. I did not think that was going through in the slightest. Okay. I'm down, <laughs> like, th I'm down like a card to you, so maybe it'll be enough. All right. Good luck. So now I wish I had my Crimson Ninja to see what that back row is. I draw! Ooh. I want to summon Dark Geroid. You're going to sink my swordsman to 100? <laughs> How dare you? I didn't realize. I thought it was a flip effect. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, no, Geroid's crazy. It's on summon. But I'm not going to attack because I don't trust the back row. Okay. That's fair. Respectable. All right. I'll draw. All right. I... I think I'm in a position where I can't really afford to do a whole lot. So you still got one back row. You're not doing a whole lot. A royal finish back row. <laughs> That's terrifying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to try to start getting aggressive here. So I'm actually going to sacrifice the swordsman for my okay. air knight Parshath. Ooh, that's good. That's good. What do you got? Nothing? Okay. I, I have something. I'm going to play it. Let's see it. Better be good. Wall of revealing light. Oh, that's actually insane. <laughs> Holy if, shit. If, if I read this, if I did this correctly, 2,000 is all I got to pay. That is. It'll wall off my Parshath, sadly. I'm just going to pass here. Now, the reason why I did that, not to flood you out, but because I want to play the card I have in my hand. Hand of Neftis. You got Sacred Phoenix? No <laughs> shot. <laughs> Oh my god, you did get Sacred Phoenix. Oh shit. Yeah, this One is fine. of my favorite classic cards of all time. Hit the field. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. And uh, that's why I play Wall of Reveal Online because I figured I can pop it if Sacred Phoenix gets popped. I'm going to hope that I draw removal. <laughs> okay, all right. Because I can actually clear if I can. It's not time for this. It's not time for this yet. Okay, Woo! please, please. I have removal. I know I've got some. Uh, <laughs> it's removal, but uh, I think I have to do it. Okay. I mean, it's fair. It's not the, I prefer to destroy the wall, but you know. Right, right. No, no, is. no. I, I, yeah. think, I, I think that's the correct answer. Yeah. I think I just have to deal with it. Ooh, that's actually good timing for this card to hit the field. Sake of Phoenix hit the field. Yep. That's crazy. That's cracked. <laughs> I'm going to lose my par shot. I'm probably out this game, honestly. I think you got this. Punch you one time. Okay. But wait, there's more, for I'm going to set two cards. <laughs> okay. At least now I can attack. So we cleared the wall. That's not bad. I mean, you could try to uh, attack. <laughs> I, I could try. Yeah, it's probably not going to go too well. Um, I'm scared of what your set is, though. It may not matter. I might just get cooked no matter what. I am just going to set and pass. All right. Here. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. I want to draw my, my big card. I think Phoenix is so good because there's just so few things that, like, cleanly out it. Yeah. Okay. Skilled White Magician. Not going to do too much against Phoenix. Unfortunately, I can't do much on my Please! end. Please! still alive for a bit. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> We're hanging on by a thread. We're hanging on by a thread. I still what, have a what, lot of work to do. We're hanging what on. The, what are the chances that's DD Warrior Lady? Could be anything. Could be anything. No, well, let, let's test it. I flip my Gravekeeper Spy. But with no you have a target for Spy? Oh, you I don't. Do okay, not. I do not. That's I crazy. It. I think that was the first card I added into the... Uh, ooh. That was a good test. That was a good test. And I'm not going to die here because of Tomato. Unfortunately, all my targets for this are terrible. Um, and you have to go into attack. I have to go into attack, so I have to make sure I don't just lose the game. I think I have to go for Cliff the Trap Remover. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. It's only 1,200, but... 
I live I, another you, turn, but is it enough? Is it you're enough? Still, you're still alive. It's the better one. All right. Protag <laughs> powers, bail me out, please. That's not going to do it. Oh, man. All right. I guess I'll summon giant orc. <laughs> I guess I'll set one in pass. <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. All right, what do you I, got? I, I want to test your gangster. So I'm going to, wow, that is a draw. That is a draw. I am just going to end my turn and see what you draw. And that next turn, I'm gonna blow you up though. So this this has sure. to be the one. I need to channel any protagonist power you might have. That's such a good draw, <laughs> but I don't think it's good enough in this. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> if I attack too, I'm just gonna get cooked. <laughs> I'm just gonna pass. Let's see what you got. Do I kill you this way or the other way? Ooh, that's oh, great. I'm better. glad there's a decision for you to oh, make. Oh, no, there's a better decision. I'm gonna go ahead and borrow your monster. That's cool. Oh, you. shit. <laughs> well, I'm not dying this turn because uh, yeah. thankfully you don't have a battle phase. See, but let me ask you a question. You know sure. what's scarier than one Sacred Phoenix Nephthys? You got two! <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> That's insane. But when the second one came up, the other two were just unpickable completely. So I guess I'm going with two. I guess you are. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh my God. I'll bring out the giant rat. Nice. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die on my turn. <laughs> so I'll attack. Do you think you're going to go die on your turn? I have metal morph, so I'm going to try to die on my turn. <laughs> because I'm going to put this wheel on you and just let yeah, you burn. Okay. <laughs> we're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. All right. I'm dead. Next game. Next game. I'll get you in game two. I'll get you in game two. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so the reason that I lost last game, I didn't get my free draw. So I went second. I'm going to let you pass it around yeah, so I get yeah, my yeah. free draw. We're going to play actual old school rules here. It would be nice. We just had the time travel mode in this if they gave us that option in dual rules. You would think they would, right? But it is what it is, I guess. Okay. Uh, draw standby main. Our hand's looking okay. I'm going to run out Toon Gemini Elf. Ooh, that's a good one. And I'm going to set one and pass. Let's see what All you right. got. I got some decent cards. I'm going to play this one. <laughs> You know what? You know, it's, it's old Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't have to do anything. I'll just set this. Yeah, what are you afraid of? Set that. There we go. Okay. Sure. Ironically, All right. the card I'm afraid of probably would be Dust Tornado. Ooh, I think I drew the card you're going to be afraid of because it's Pot of Greed again. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Okay, those suck. Well, the rule uh, states you have to win now. That is true. Exile Force. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Is it? Let's see what the set is. Roulette is Barrel. That it, oh right. shit! No, that's like the perfect counter. <laughs> oh my god, that's literally like the best counter to what just happened. That's insane. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my god, that Toon Gemini Elf was gonna start railing you. I know that's why I needed a dead. Oh my god. Uh, question: Do you like cats or dogs? Uh, I'm more of a dog person, I would say. Gotcha. gotcha. Well, here's a dog that's about All to. All right, I appreciate this. you giving me the option. Yeah. Teeth into your life points. That's fine. Unless we got another Book of Moon over there. It might be a Book of Moon. Look, I got a book, it's a book of Moon. You don't know my life. <laughs> That's one thing that I'll never really like about Master Duel compared to the real game. It's like, you can kind of guess what your opponent's playing. Right, especially in like old format. It's pretty easy to figure it yeah. out, sadly. I'm going to try to deal with this Warwolf, I guess. I've got my own Dark Geroid. Oh, that's kind of annoying because it's permanent. Let's see if we can hit over here. You, you can have that 400. Okay, I appreciate it. You're a pal. And uh, I'll just, I'll pass it back. I'll pass it back. That's fair. Uh, wow, that's a great card. <laughs> I don't like to hear that, dude. I don't like to hear that at all. Oh, that's a good card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop this. I'm going to pop that back row. Uh, if I'm going to lose it anyway, I may as well try to stave fair, off damage. Fair, fair, fair. So. Ooh, that's actually annoying because... It is annoying, isn't it? It'll still flip. Well, it's only when Nassima. it's summoned. If you flip it up, it's not going to trigger. No, it doesn't, it doesn't count. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Sima, what do you think is the best card in all of um, GOAT format? Uh, I'm guessing one that requires you to banish a light and a dark, <laughs> if I had to guess. Now you see what I chose. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It so, you had a choice between this pot and a third card? Premature burial. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, so see, I wasn't cheesing you. Dark Jeroy didn't trigger. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was, and I was definitely thinking, uh, like, I sat on that screen for a solid minute. I'm like, which one do I want? I don't blame you, bro. I don't blame you. That's a tough choice. Yeah. 
All right. The question well, is, thankfully, is, oh, that is it, like the best outcome it could have been. Okay, so yeah, I can take care of your steel. BLS, thankfully. <laughs> no. I wish it was Snack Steel. Uh, but it's gonna get a lot worse when I got Mystic Swords in level oh two for the set. Oh my god. I'm feeling a lot, oh, Assailant? Okay, good to know you have that. I'm feeling wow. a lot better about this game. I'm feeling a lot better about this game now. Um, all right, let's see, what, let's see if that back row is real. I'm about to summon the most powerful monster for about two months in old Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I am going to mirror force oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> trust issues. Nothing gave me more trust issues than mirror force. Okay, come on. Good draw. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty okay, good. Okay, let's see what uh, you got. It's Mystic Tomato. That's fair. He's throwing We're just going to get in for me. some damage. We're going to get in for some damage. <laughs> and we'll just pass it back. We'll pass it back. What can I draw here that's a perfect draw? I know. This card. That's decent, actually. Yeah, that's great. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. Okay. Speaking of trust issues, <laughs> <laughs> is what I would say if I didn't have this Jinzo in my hand. <laughs> no way! <laughs> no shot! Nice what mirror force I, you got set back there, buddy. What if All I right, go you, ahead. What if I tell you it's not mirror force? And what if I, I tell mean, you I'm not worried about this Jinzo? That's a great card. That's a fantastic card, actually. It's got to deal with Jinzo, so. I don't have to deal with Jinzo. That that actually deals with Jinzo. Okay, fair. <laughs> That's very fair. It's funny how like people didn't realize how good Swords of Concealing Light was until like yeah. years later. This card yeah, is yeah. insane. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. I'll be honest, I, I was a concealing light hater too for a long time. Were you? Well, I, I Were also you? hate okay. I hate revealing light too. I just I'm gonna bring out Shadow Knight. One Archfiend for another. Oh, that's fair. We're gonna play a game here. Okay, what's the game? Uh, I hope you can roll correct, <laughs> correctly. I can't speak. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. I rolled a one again. Are you serious? That's so annoying. All right. Well, this Archfiend soldier is not doing anything, so we'll just pass. Right. You know, my Whoa. set's tomato. And funny enough, I don't think you can even change its battle position. Oh, no. Just I can't change battle position. Yeah, you can't okay. change it. So That's it's important. probably better if I don't attack. I will set this. Pass. This is going to be my contingency plan. Okay. Unless you have another Jinzo in the deck. Oh, I forgot yeah. you also I forgot paid that taxes. that's, yeah, I have to pay that, tax that, on that. That's so. why I, I had an option to get this and I specifically didn't choose it because of that. I was like, that, I, think I, need to, I think I need to end the game. So oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to try to end the game here. Let's go for Hysteric Fairy. Oh, you're so good. We got it? Oh <laughs> my God, game three. Oh, Ooh, okay, this is hype. All right, the all-important game three. And being the pal that I am, I'm going to let you get your draw for turn. So here you go. I'm going to swing it so, around to you. I assume you didn't craft your extra deck because you didn't get a metamorphosis? Uh, there could be a reason for that, maybe. Uh, uh, I will keep it pretty simple. Yeah, let's keep it simple. I mean, it is old Yu-Gi-Oh. You're only limited to so many things. Yeah. All right. That's uh could be better. All right, I've seen so many sets out of you that like that that literally could be anything. <laughs> um, and that's why I like this format though, because it's like you can't really play around a ton unless you see stuff. Uh, let's go. Not yeah, we'll tr we'll try it. Hysteric fairy. Okay, why not? We'll fair. run her out. Okay. Uh, this could be like a spy potentially. How did you know? It is. I don't think you had targets if I remember. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Now, I was, I was hoping to at least get one more. I don't believe you have Heavy Storm. I'm not a believer. Really? <laughs> if you have Heavy Storm, bring it on. I mean, I have Heavy Storm to monster. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Ooh, that's a good card, too. Wait, I'm dumb. You're <laughs> I'm dumb. Pass. I'll just pass. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I kind of want to see you got okay so i've seen like graceful dice out of you i've seen nightmare wheel i've seen just a lot of <laughs> random bs uh, you know what i'm gonna go skilled white magician there i'm gonna see if we can actually connect into this mirage dragon so let's try it you're right i'm gonna roll a dice <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see what you got just enough it's a two. Just, just, just enough, enough. i was hoping we would crash yeah that's fine well, i didn't realize that um graceful dice does every monster it does. That's why it's like slightly better than like other things. All right. Well, I'm not going to trade my hysteric fairy into your mirage dragon, so I'm just going to pass. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't trust it. I don't trust it. I'll be honest with you. Cool. Hmm. 
Now the question is, is what do you have set? Can it out my my uh, Archfiend soldier? It might be able to. Battle. Battle is fine. So you definitely have, I would say, Book of Moon. You are correct. I do have Book of Moon. Okay, okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. All right, that's all we're gonna do. I will set one more of them. Okay, okay. Gotta take care of that Archfiend soldier. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go. You still have like your graceful dice. You still have, like a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> so many random things I have to worry about. You know, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna go bazoo the soul eater. Okay. You're gonna do the effect. Oh, you can do the effect. Oh, you can. I have the one skilled white magician. I'm just gonna make it slightly bigger than your mirage dragon. That's the okay. goal. That's fair. We'll go battle. Uh, I'm gonna try to take out mirage dragon. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and insert a code. Okay, What's, what code would you prefer? Uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. And that sets your bazoo into defense mode. And we'll try with Hysteric Fairy this time. Your Hysteric Mask Fairy is too weakness. weak! She is too weak. <laughs> not looking good, not looking good. But you're also running out of cards yeah, over there, my, my friend. My gimmicks are gone. Your gimmicks are gone indeed, I'll Unless... pass. Unless... Uh, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's okay. I will attempt to summon this again. And I'll summon Great Anus. Oh my god, you're bringing out everything. Holy crap. Now let's see what happens. So I'm going to assume... I'm going to Threatening Roar here. Oh, a Mirage Dragon. good play, good play, good yep. play, good play. It's a super. Threatening Roar is a super, which is unbelievable to me. Um, I pass. Ooh, passing. This is might be where things turn around. I'm liking yeah. this. All right, we'll draw. That's pretty good too. Hmm. Okay. Um, How do I want to play this? You have Mirage Dragon. You've got that... I'm a bit worried, though, because you, you you haven't been playing, like, a ton. You're playing just, like, a card a turn. You're not going, like, too crazy here. I'm also worried if, like, BLS comes down, like, that could be catastrophic, too. You just gave me too much information. Um, if you're worried, uh, that means that maybe. back row's not real. Could be. Could be. <laughs> it's funny. I've been playing GOAT so long that when they had the time travel mode in Master Duel, I'm just watching my opponent turn one set everything. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you I do think not I'm gonna... fear a heavy storm. You don't fear I... your, your dust tornadoes, your MSTs. Okay. I think I'm going to try it this way. I think it's too juicy to just get some cards out of you here. So we're going to put this to attack. Right. We're going to hit over Mirage Dragon. And oh, then I'm going to hit over the Great Anus. Oh, anus! Now, unfortunately, you could still drop, like, Phoenix or something on me, which would be terrifying. Because you still have two monsters on the field. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What if I draw you out right now? You know what, I mean, it's possible. I it's got possible. Millennia Puzzle right here. Draw! That's actually... I've seen how you can draw. I mean, you got two pro tags going against each other right now. The world is is not ready to handle such power. Dark Gerald. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Yeah, sure. So let, let's see if I can out some of these monsters on your field. Attack. Okay. Metal Morph, my hysteric <laughs> fairy. So she's gonna be just big oh, enough to clear your Archfiend soldier. God. Well, we can at least get rid of uh, Bazoo, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, that's gonna be good. It's a trade for a trade, but I will set one card. <laughs> okay. Don't like that. Don't like that. It's nothing. It's, it's it's harmless. Man, why do you have to have back row? You're so lame. <laughs> so lame. All right, we'll go battle. You're, you're trying it. You're going to text my guy. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, no. There's a wheel connected to your fairy. It's a wheel. Okay. That's fine. You still have to outer, so that's not the end of the world. Yeah. You got one card. I'm just sitting here taking 500 damage every turn. That's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, you should do. You should treat yourself and summon a Shadow Knight as well. Cool. I wish. <laughs> that, but not yet. Yeah, I I'll take the 500. Come on, come you on. Know, we'll, we'll set this, and I'll set one more. Okay. All right. Ooh! Oh, that is a insane pull, actually. Hold up. Uh-oh. I think we just go for it, right? Yeah, we're going to go for it. Brain control? <laughs> and uh, it gets much tributing? worse You're when tributing. I sack your spy for oh, Air Knight Parsha. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to go for this Geroid. I'm going to get the free card off of you. Oh, my oh, God. That's cracked. This is gonna, yeah, this is cracked. This is cracked. I was considering tributing over Hysteric Fairy, and then I drew Brain Cod. And I'm like, oh, I think the decision just got made for me. All yeah. right. Um, I'm passing. I'll okay. gladly take the 500 from Nightwing. There's, there's bring one it on. card I could draw that could be amazing here. I was going to say, you've got draws. You've got draws. I do have draws. After Nightmare Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> 
I tribute. Look what I had set. Zero defense, by the way. Nothing. Horus level three? Oh my god. Or level six, sorry. Level six. All right, let's get rid of this. Oh, no more drawing. You're going to be real pissed when you no! see this is my set. No! I got him. And you draw two for that. Oh my gosh. I, I, I was greedy. I was greedy. I was greedy. You were so greedy. So greedy. All right, I don't think I can kill you, though, is the problem. I just, oh, the stupid nightmare wheel. I can't clean it out. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to get damage off Parshath here. You're, what, 68? Fuck it. We'll bring out Mirage Dragon. I'm not scared. Mm. Let's just get the damage in. I cleared that. Drawn three cards off this Parshath. Oh, All right, my go God. ahead. Who would have thought Mask of Weakness is going to be the, the winning card in 2024? Throw. I know. No one would have thought. One turn too late. It's one turn too late. I was gonna say, like, BLS still looks pretty good here. Well, I drew in I drew into my uh, Phoenix. Oh, that would have been insane. Phoenix. Actually, it gets Mask of Weakness, though. I'm not even sure. No, no, no yeah, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So it would have just died anyway. Yeah. Do I randomly have lethal? I don't think so. Oh, that's a lie. I do. Okay. We'll get rid of Hysteric Fairy. For Jinzo. Jinzo! Oh my god. And then god. I'll show you one of my URs. I got pre mat. Oh my god. So we'll just bring the bazoo back just for fun. I like how you're like, do I have lethal? Of course you have lethal. <laughs> and you get to still draw. I get to still draw too. We'll finish it off with bazoo. Holy Damn. shit. What, what, a, what a duel. Good games, buddy. GG's. That was insane. I'm really curious to see like what your deck looked like because your deck still looked cracked. Two bottomless trap holes, which I didn't see. I did get metamorphosis. I did get, and I got every staple fusion monster that works with metamorphosis as well. Oh, that's crazy. And yeah, meta is huge because meta is a super, I think. So it's like, yeah. unless you get it, it doesn't really. I think, so you said you had a big decision. I pulled a, a Cyberstein is one of my URs. I didn't uh -huh. pick it though, because I think I had pre mat as like the other one. Uh -huh. um, but if you Stein for like a Blue Eyes Ultimate or like a Gatling Dragon or something, like that can just get out of hand real quick. Yeah. Uh, I like you had the Graceful Dice and the Skull Dice. You had the little combo. <laughs> The reason why Going I added on? the second one is because I got the first one. I think that wall of revealing light, first of all, congrats on the royal that I made you craft for this video. <laughs> um, I feel like if you don't have removal, like I think breakers are rare. There's a few cards that like can out wall, mm -hmm. but wall could just be so oppressive in this format if you don't have an out to it. It's crazy. Yeah. And I, I didn't get horse level eight, but I, I, that mirror force, that mirror force yeah, that's is scary. Two exile force, for too? I got double exiled force. Yeah, I actually could have had a third and a second giant rat and like a fairy lily, but I passed on them early on. So I'm like, oh, I'm not going to need these. And then they just, these exiled forces just came back around. But yeah, we had some, we had some jank. I'm really happy you got to pull off the, uh, the Nephthys stuff. That was really <laughs> sick. I, I, I had to make a decision. Like, will I be able to, because I got Phoenix first. I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And then I shortly after got Nephthys. I'm like, there's no way that God said, hey, play both of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both normals, right? Yeah. Right. So, like, I, I mean, it's at least nice you have the option. Well, just so you know, every time I played Neftis on my channel before in the past uh, two years, I've always played it wrong. I always forget <laughs> that you need this tribute and something else. So this right. time, it was like, remember, Ryan, remember, this is something else. This is something else. Don't make this mistake. <laughs> I think you're thinking of Creator Incarnate. That yeah, might be the yeah, problem. Because yeah, yeah, Creator yeah. Incarnate, you just sack him yeah, for yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Nephthys is good because I also there's um I think there's Apprentice Magician in the pool and Apprentice Magician can search Hand of Nephthys from the deck. So Ooh, then it's like it's already on the field. Yeah, so then if you just combo, summon yeah. another thing, yeah, that's a cool combo you can do. Um, then one of my favorite cards in my childhood, Malevolent Nuzzler. Malevolent Nuzzler is crazy. I just think like having a big guy in this format is so hard to deal mm -hmm. with sometimes. Like you had your like Archfiend Soldier out or whatever. And I'm just like, I can't hit over this thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I'm happy you had a good time. I'm happy you got to uh, try out the arena for us. And uh, maybe you'll have to come back. Maybe we have to oh, load I'm up down. the uh, Edison arena when, in the future. You say when and I'm there. This is this is too much fun. <laughs> so, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So, shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Battle Community Soon, Cancel Battle Committee Soon, Cancel Battle Players Soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, R.I.P. Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment.